how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what I have here from T-I-V-D-I-O, I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Angela sent me this. And this is a bamboo multimedia card speaker. So it does multiple things, including reading TF cards, the little tiny little memory cards, a big USB port right here so you can plug in a USB card to have your music on or your recordings on. And it has an FM receiver. And let me move my little friend here out of the way. It comes with a remote control. I'm go I'm hooked on these remote control devices. <laughs> I guess it because I'm getting older and lazier. But I love like for instance the radio I reviewed, the shortwave radio with the remote control. I gave that a thumbs up based on mainly remote control. This one's got a remote control too. It also comes with two cables. This is um, the USB uh, regular to micro for charging the battery. It runs off batteries. It does not have an AC adapter. And then here is a uh, phono plug so that you can hook some other device into the front of this thing for an auxiliary input. Like, for instance, I tested it using this radio here has two speakers. It has two what look like speakers on the front. I don't think they're speakers. I don't hear any sound on them. They may be for helping the bass into this box. I don't know, but the sound comes out of the two top, two top speakers right there. This is the volume and on-off button, and this is the antenna for FM. It's only FM. No, it does not have shortwave. But what I was thinking about when um, I looked at this is it could be a great box for taking something like this radio here. It only has one speaker, therefore it's mono, mono. It has a stereo output. Plug it in here, and then you get stereo. So that's what I'm thinking about. And, you know, your, your iPads or iPods or whatever, those kind of devices that you need better speakers. Even my tablet, um, I can barely hear the output of my tablet when the room is noisy. And of course it comes with this remote. And let's talk about the remote for a second here. The remote has on-off. Now, the on-off only works if you manually turn the radio on with this knob, which is also a volume knob. And so when the blue light is on, that means the system is on and the on-off button on the remote will work. Of course, it's drawing power, uh, at least to power that light and to power the circuitry that's receiving the remote signal. It uses one of those large batteries, those 4.2, 4 volt batteries that are getting quite common with radios nowadays. Very common. Uh, I have like two or three chargers that will charge that battery. You can in, you can also charge the battery in the device using the this cable here. So you don't need to buy a separate charger. Um, and, and another advantage of those bigger batteries is that they give they have pretty high capacity, so they run for a long, long, long time. Uh, Oh, the remote, back to the remote. Uh, if you got a mute button, let me see if I can get this. It's not going to show up very well on my camera. But there it is. That's how big it is. It's kind of small. The buttons are raised buttons. See how they're raised? They're not just flush mounted. Uh, again, continuing on with the buttons, you have a mode button to select the memory cards or the auxiliary input, or the FM radio, FM stereo radio. Uh, you have back and forward buttons, uh, jump ahead buttons, um, excuse me, uh, not jump ahead, um, 
play and pause buttons. That's what that button is. You have an equalizer button. This thing has, I think, five possessions, possessions, positions for equalizing the audio. It has a volume up and down. Now, that that's a little confusing at first because what you do is you set the volume on here to minimum, which is, I guess, one, or to maximum, which is 30. And then you would, you can adjust it, what the max 30 number means by this knob here. So I was like playing with, I hadn't turned it up very high here, and so I was turning the volume up, and it like, it never got very loud. Well, that's because you need to adjust the volume on here to something louder than you want, and then you can control it to less than or equal to that volume with the remote. Little quirk. Um, then it's got number buttons, 0 through 9, for selecting a track or a memory, because it, it does have memories for storing your FM stations. And it will do a scan for FM stations. And I was amazed. I had this thing. This antenna is about, about 22 to 24 inches long. And I told it sitting on my desk here to do a scan, scan of the FM band. And I found 30 stations. Strong and clear, 30 stations. Not any weak stations. So that's pretty impressive. Um, then it has a repeat button if you want to repeat the last song or recording that you heard off the memory card and then it has a repeat where it once it gets to the number of recordings to the end of the recordings you have it'll go back to the first one and play them again so it has that function that's about it but well, it's got a lot of functions on the remote and uh, I'm playing right or I was playing some music from the YouTube uh, public library they have music that you can use in your shows. Okay, let's uh, let's play a little more music and then I'll play with the equalizer. So let's go back and select play again. And I'll shut up and I'll go through the various equalizer settings. Here we go. Lots of bass. Amazing. Now what what that one equalizer position does is it cuts out the highs and, and boosts the, the bass. So it's a little misleading. Plus you won't get a feel for the audio quality based on my microphone. So my microphone doesn't do that good a job of uh, music. So, like I said, it's got uh, a jack here for a full-size USB dongle. This is the, down below it is the jack for connecting the charger plug. And you can charge it with your computer if you want. And over here it has the auxiliary hole. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Give you a close up of that front. I don't know if it's in focus. And let me get a, I need a small pointer. Use this right here. Uh, this is a little out of focus because it's so bright. But anyway, right here is the auxiliary input. I, I wish this was either on the back or on the side and not on the front. Because you, when you plug in this cable here, it's going to kind of be in the way. So I, I guess, which this one is not, I guess if you had a cable that had a right hand connector here, so it would kind of lay flat here, it would be better. I guess I wish this was on the back. Then down below it, you have the SD card slot for the tiny little SD cards. That's what I'm using right now. Um, there's nothing There's nothing on the back or the sides. Now, when they say bamboo, it's 
It's just simulated painted bamboo. It looks nice, but it's not real bamboo. I don't think so. It does. It looks like it's brushed on. So let's zoom back out here. So it looks really nice. Um, the remote works well, and it's got plenty of functions. Um, I think that's about it. The sound quality is fantastic. It's got loads of volume. I think it said, let me look it up in the manual. It's got about five or six watts output. Uh, yeah, six watts output, which is nowadays, that's all you need. And the battery capacity is 1,800 milliamp hours. You can get larger ones that will work in here. And it's a stereo dual channel. And I'm trying to see if I've forgotten anything. It said that in the instructions, it said that when you're charging it and you've got it off, um, this light, blue light here, I don't know if you can see it or not, that blue light right there, that ring around thing, that will be on while it's charging, and when it goes off, that means it's fully charged. It, I think you can use it plugged in to um, a USB charger of some kind, but it does warn you that might cause, depending on the charger, of course, that might cause noise in the FM part of the device. Um, if you use chargers like I do, I use uh, power pack chargers for cases like that. That probably would not be a problem. So I think that's it. This is, you can get this off of Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. It's $35. Um, and I thank uh, Angela for sending me this for review. She says she's going to send me some more radios and gadgets she has that aren't related to having shortwave installed in them. So, as I had mentioned a couple of shows ago, I'm kind of diverting away from just shortwave because I'm kind of running out of shortwave radios to, uh, to review or to test. So that's about it. Oh, the, the equalizers are called normal, pop, rock, jazz, classic, and country, if that means anything. All right, that's about it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.